and the everlasting doors are uh, the sort of where heaven and earth connect and there's a realm where the everlasting doors and there's four gates there the north south east west gate that are also connected to the solar system to the planets to dimensions and those four gates have been inappropriately used particularly the west gate in the past um, but we have been engaging them quite a lot recently in governmental groups, opening the gates, engaging the everlasting doors, activating the everlasting doors. On Earth, in the past, there were uh, receivers or crystalline receivers that received frequency from the planets, from creation, that brought everything into a place of harmony and wholeness. Um, and that the earth was uh, in union with the planets, in union with creation, and therefore there was a sense that the everlasting doors were where that union and that frequency both two-way communication took place and there was this sense of oneness and wholeness well all those things got shut down um and there's only a residue on the earth now and the, there were particularly four areas which were related to the north south east west gates that did have major positions on the earth that were receivers of frequency which created a atmosphere around the earth would enable it to be perfect in perfect harmony in perfect pers perspective um now i do believe that god is giving us the authority to reconnect with the dimensions the solar system the planets all of that to bring about the frequencies that come together that on the earth now the whole of the earth will receive and i think there are things like the nile rivers particular things that are related to creation um, that are being connected and reconnected and i do agree with you i would expect that an everlasting door or everlasting doors relate to some of those creational realities and you know we know the river of life is flowing in heaven well there's also rivers that flow on earth now they're just natural water but they don't just have to be natural water if we engage that water because water is a very special sub substance and and it can contain and be resonating with frequency and carry that frequency out into the land obviously the nile goes all the way from you know west africa there all the way you know, uh, in east africa all the way up um to the mediterranean and there are other huge rivers as well the amazon and others that, that sort of connect the earth and I do believe there is something about restoring the connection so those rivers carry the right frequency that bring health and wholeness and life to the earth. So I would encourage you to ask the Father to show you um, where those gates are, where the everlasting doors are. I've done some teaching in the Engaging God program around it, um, but I would encourage you just to don't push into something until the Father gives you permission, but share your heart with him and your desire if he's giving you this uh responsibility to engage the Nile then I'm sure he's got a a purpose in that and the revelation will come in that purpose that will help you fulfill that purpose in the future and just stay in that place of rest and begin to administrate the kingdom from that place of rest and see what he does in terms of you uh, administrating the everlasting doors towards the Nile and then releasing God's purpose through that if you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.